Rainworld's workshop is now eight months old. No modding advancements have happened in this time, but I have added some additional information about the mod at the start of their respective section. This is mainly done to show what the mod entails without having to sit through me yap about the spoilers in the mod, as well as a glitchiness rating, which is my rating of how glitchy I found the mod. Five being good and one being bad, I guess. Wing Cat Rising by Musical Miracle and Failing adds a whimsical winged slug cat to the game. This slug cat has the ability of flight, obviously, so it can easily flap and glide through the air. I would say it controls the best out of any flying slug cat so far, but its weakness is it has no campaign at all. It would be really cool to see a region balanced around flying, like some floating isles with floating inhabitants. Slug Cat Randomizer by Timofei26 and Something 6969. Unsurprisingly randomizes your slug cat every time you die or hibernate, including modded slug cats. This mod has high configurability and so will make for an interesting playthrough. The Cosmo Spect by Hani, Pakuyo, and Noto Korda adds a silly stardust fella to the game. This slug cat? I don't even think it is a slug cat. Anyway, this fella has a cool intro animation. What's even cooler is its disgustingly overpowered ability. Firstly, it could craft a new spear type called the Star Realm Spear, which will instantly kill any creature it hits, but will deplete afterwards. They can also craft Singularity Bombs with two rocks, and on top of that the Cosmo Spectre is completely immune to their effects. And that's like one third of their total abilities, like it gets even more crazy. When in zero gravity environments, the Cosmo Spectre becomes completely immune to any damage and can phase through walls. Gravity control is unlocked after meeting 5 pebbles. It lets you change the intensity of the gravity from 0 to normal, which will then be applied to all rooms for 30 seconds. If you set the intensity to 0 gravity, this can then be paired with the ghost form, which grants no clip in invulnerability during 0 gravity. Upon reaching max karma, the time freeze ability is unlocked. This freezes time surprisingly. It's a cool ability to use. Now the Cosmo Spectre has to collect star fragments in order to gain its next powers. There is one in each region, and they can be a bit of a pain to find, but you do get a notification when you're in the same room as one. I ran into this annoying glitch where I had to recollect the fragments, even if I collected them previously, and I had to go in the files to add the drainage system one back into the game. So be cautious if you're doing like a 100% star fragment collection run without cheats. These issues might have been patched, though. Anyway, onto the abilities themselves. Space teleportation is unlocked when collecting a star fragment. This lets the Cosmo Spectre place down up to three teleportation gates, which then can be teleported back to at any time. The last ability is Time Reversal, which is awarded upon collecting all star fragments. This lets you reverse time. This is probably my favourite one because of how cool it is but it was a massive pain to collect all the fragments. Overall, it's no surprise this slug cat is incredibly OP, but the abilities are quite ambitious and complex. I think you sort of have to play this slug cat like you're playing Dishonored, where it's fun to see if you can kill creatures in the coolest way possible by using synergies between your cool powers. I do feel like the custom slug cats are getting a bit too OP now, which I don't really like since it trivializes Rainworld's actual gameplay. Hopefully developers can start to actually balance their slug hats in ways that bring unique challenge to the player. Expanded Industrial by Oskariak adds more industrial rooms. I don't know what you want me to say. This is a cute little mod that adds 30 plus rooms to industrial complex, specifically the undergroundy sections found near the garbage waste gate. There is definitely some cool rooms to discover and they all look good since Oskariak has mastered the vanilla style. Inved Superstructure by Magic adds inv-exclusive gimmicks to submerged superstructure. It has been renamed to Andrew Forgot About This One LMAO, and the vent subregion has now been called Venting. All of the water in this region has been removed, and there is now a ton of stowaways lurking on the ceilings. Bitter Airy has now been renamed to Blinding Airy, and I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Anyway, I recommend this mod to any inv players out there. Like, are they called invers? Inv heads? Clinically insane, who knows, but yeah, this mod's for you. Sweet Dreams by Inticus, Teal Pup, and Henpamaz is a very simple cute mod that adds a unique sleep screen when hibernating with a tamed lizard. A unique music track will also play on the hibernation screen, which will change depending on what lizard is present.
overall a really nice mod with cool music and art. However, it doesn't work with downpour slug cats or downpour lizards. Slug Pup Safari by Storm the Cat is a simple mod that lets you carry a seemingly infinite amount of slug pups on your back. Another very simple but cute mod. I did run into a bunch of random glitches with this one, so be careful. Stamina Spelt Wrong by Alp Happy adds a stamina bar to the UI. This shows how much stamina Gormand has before it gets tired. Gormand will also emit sweating particles when nearing the exhaustion threshold. This stamina UI also works for artificer jumps and will also appear for starving slug cats too. Very cool mod especially if you don't like the seemingly randomness of Gormand's exhaustion. The Escort by Urufu Doggo has received a bunch of updates since last time I covered it. I'll quickly summarise the major updates. Firstly, the default Escort has now got a slug puppet must. Guess what? Escort through the world. I don't think it has a campaign yet, so you just can take care of it, I guess. There is now a UI element in the bottom left corner, which displays useful information regarding the Escort build you're playing. Each Escort build now has a unique starting location. And the Escapist build has been sacked during the cabinet reshuffle because it's no longer a Tory build, let's go! After I whined about it being a boring build, Urufu Doggo reworked the build and now it's much cooler. Double tapping a direction causes the Escort to dash forward, leaving a cool new Shadow clone behind. It can also be exploded with damage to cause an AoE effect. These body doubles remind me of Castro from Hunter x Hunter. Hopefully the Escort has no clown adversaries around. There is also a brand new build called the Gilded. This build has the ability to hover using exerted energy. The hover speed is depending on how much momentum you had going into the hover, leading it to be quite movementful. The Gilded cannot actually use normal spears, but it can turn them into fire spears at the cost of energy and use those instead. But yeah, that's a brief summary of all the updates. I recommend the Escort if you want a crazy slug hat to play. The Impulse by Face adds a simplistic zippy slug cat to the game. This fella has the ability to teleport short distances, which kind of works the same way as an artificer jump does. It can also make electric spears and electric rubbish, which surprisingly stuns enemies. It's a very cool simple slug cat, I think. Bird skin by Slime Cube converts slug cat into a little birdie. This is not a dress my slug cat skin actually, which is kind of base, and so will override any slug cat, including custom ones, to be little birdies. Very epic mod. The Grim by Kuru Suku, Tri Crystal, and QED adds an angry red slug cat inspired by Nightmare King Grim from Hollow Knight. Now I'm not even going to say anything about the balance. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to mention balance on this one. Basically, you're now a Hollow Knight boss in this game. Its main features is that it can glide and cool spikes from the ground to attack enemies. Solace by Musical Miracle and Noir has had a bunch of new updates since last I covered it. The main addition is a new slug cat, the Stalker. Well, it's just the Noir slug cat merged with Solace, basically. It has been given a new coat of fur and some rebalanced gameplay, plus also inhabiting this snowy Solace world. I'm going to summarize the other updates now, starting with a new UI tracker. This shows lizard reputation if you're playing as the friend, or if you've successfully killed a mother lizard in the current region you're in as poacher. Mother lizards now have a new design, being much darker in colour, and the friend now has the ability to use one as a steed, which can be used to traverse worm grass fields or attack great foes. Poacher's ability to extract cherry bomb seeds has now been given a new animation and sounds. And Looks to the Moon now has a unique cutscene, so if you want to set a goal for these snowy slug cats, Reaching Moon is a good one. Since I gave Noir Mod of the Month, does this mod become Mod of the Month now since they merged? Yeah, sure, it's, it's Mod of the Month. Ultra Kill Style Region Titles by Nasu changes the region pop-up text to be more ultra killy, appearing with a bit of flavour text. This also supports custom regions, so region creators can make their own ultra kill title. Very cool mod.
Destructive bombs by slime cubed ported by Mills AAA adds terrain destruction to explosives. This mod is very fun to experiment around with, but can softlock your game if you destroy room transition pipes. Also, the mod is very buggy and has like 12 data leaks, so, <laughs> so <laughs> use this mod of caution. Inventory by Lee Moria as an inventory to Rainworld. Whoa, crazy. You can access the inventory by pressing the map button. What I love about the mod is the UI seems really janky, but it's not. It works actually really smoothly. You can toggle back to the map by pressing grab, or deposit or retrieve items in the selected slot with jump. So yeah, very nice 1.5 port mod. Now time for the small mods that don't need my commentary. <laughs> Wow, what a cool modding video. Sorry I missed two months in a row. I did miss a few mods, but they'll be in the December one, hopefully. I've got big plans for videos in December, so be ready. Anyway, goodbye.